we've just been dropped off at Al Wakara Metro Station, which is a 15 minute drive on the free shuttle from our accommodation. And this is one of 10 metro stations that were built um, and opened for the World Cup. Uh, they've been in the making for quite a few years. You can see in the distance the fan zone, big screen, concerts, the live games are shown. Um, thousands of people congregate there in the evening, lots of entertainment. And this metro station, as I said, one of ten that when I came here in 2019 spent some time with the project team looking at how this huge infrastructure project was put together alongside a whole host of other mega infrastructure projects but this metro project is close to my heart because I spent time and I feel like I contributed a little bit albeit for a few weeks but here we are, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Slow trickle of fans making their way across Doha. So I'm going to try and get to West Bay, the Sale Stadium, the exhibition centre, because I want to try and see if I can get any spare tickets. game tonight. Everything is organised fantastically. There are lots and lots of volunteers, people around to show you where to go. And even though there are hundreds of thousands of people, it's such a vast area. Everything has been spread out. It doesn't feel crowded. It doesn't feel congested. And everybody's in great spirits. As you can see, lots of people have decided they're going to get into the center of Doha early. Enjoy the various entertainment ahead of the game and also to avoid the rush hour really lots of free shuttle buses bringing people to the station It's not just the fans of the countries that are still in the tournament, fans from all the countries that have been knocked out already are still here, still wanting to savour the atmosphere and enjoy the remaining days of the competition. Of course, the most excitement is for those fans of those countries that are still in the tournament. And that includes England and we will be cheering the boys on tomorrow against France. Here we are, the entrance of Al Wakra Metro Station. Brand new station. Everything looks clean and brand spanking new. Shops, cafes restaurants where modern metro system should be yes.
As I said, the last time I was here, a lot of these escalators were still being installed. A lot of the decoration was being done. And then the pandemic came. But they continued with the majority of the work, obviously, in reduced capacity. But it does look great. It's so good to see the whole place coming to life, buzzing with people. And what better way to bring it to life than hosting the World Cup with thousands of people coming from all over the world to enjoy the facilities. And there are facilities. It's, 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 it's great because it's accessible. People with wheelchairs. Everybody, everybody has the opportunity to enjoy these facilities without hindrance. Large open concourses, which means no matter how many thousands of people there are, it just still feels very open and accessible and I have no idea I think my hire card lets me uh, lets me use this for free so let's get the card out actually people are just going through so let's go through and onto the platforms Plus another escalator, some stairs as well for those that are brave. I think I'll take the escalator. Again, it's really nice to see the finish on these stations because, as I said, the last time I was here, there was still a shell, it was being fitted out. But now, it looks fantastic. Decorated with all the World Cup branding. sale that's where I wanted to want to go there's one every three to four minutes by the looks of it so that's really really good everybody's been ushered towards the front typical everywhere in the world people just want to stop at the first point that they get to again you can see long wide platforms and these states trains arrive there will be no rush to train every three minutes so there's plenty of time for everybody to get around and fans from all over the world have congregated here you can probably see from the pictures Predominantly Brazilian and Argentinian. They look like they've taken over Doha. And they bring such great colours and vibrancy and and song and dance and atmosphere. It's really, really good. It's really good. And they all seem to have a smile on their face. They enjoy themselves, these Brazilians and Argentinians. And they can play a bit too. Um, unfortunately, they are going to meet in the semi-finals if they win their respective quarter-finals so one of them is going to have to go home without the trophy at this Qatar 2022 World Cup we're on the metro 
as you would expect something that's so new to be clean, sparkling, spacious, and lots of room. Everybody seems to be occupying a seat. And because it's so new, we probably won't have some of the problems we have in, in the London underground with all the human feces that are discovered. As I mentioned in one of my other videos, at a survey of the London underground, they discovered that the, the most common dirt is in fact human feces. Those who use London Underground maybe can shed some light on this and let us know why there is so much human remains on the underground. That's me in the 1983 England red shirt you can see in the mirror. And that's as much as you're going to get to see of me. While I focus on everybody else, everybody seems nice and relaxed. No rush. I remember being in Paris for the Champions League final on their Metro Underground system. Horrendous. Old, rackety. And then you had thousands and thousands of fans, although most of them very well behaved. There was a lot of drink involved, drinking involved and the locals absolutely hated us when we were on there, the noise that we were making, all in good spirits, but you can tell they didn't like it. People here, on the other hand, don't look like they've been on the booze, all seem pretty sober, all relaxed, and looking forward to getting into Doha main and uh, enjoying the um, enjoying all the fun experiences that have been put together for everybody Every station is well stocked with these shuttle buses. There are also fan zones in every every station, so people can simply get off or get to the stadium and have access to the fan zones, the big screens, the entertainment zones, ample parking, of course, it's just desert everywhere, so they've got plenty of space to put parking for coaches and cars. Not that there are too many coaches and cars, too many cars, plenty of coaches. It is starting to fill up now. And I suspect as we get closer to the sale, we will have more and more fans on. But there are trains every three minutes, so everybody would have a chance to get on and get to their destinations comfortably. We've gone from overground to underground now. Trains riding through the heart of Doha and under the desert.
This is my station, this is Doha Exhibition Center. I've stopped here because I want to go to the FIFA office to go and see if I can get another ticket for one of the other quarterfinals. It was nice to be in an air-conditioned underground carriage, super fast Wi-Fi and there were some carriages that were reserved for ladies only but a lot of women simply just sat in the mixed carriages and this is this is not about segregation and a lot of this has been made and I'll pick up on these points another time but the option is there for for women if they want to share a carriage with everybody else if they want somewhere separate for themselves and we know that football fans we can get a bit rowdy we can get a bit excited and that's not just men women as well but but the option is there and one of the things that we're getting so into such a mess is this whole thing about equality about rights about militant feminism which is actually making life more difficult for for women surprisingly so plenty of that subject later for now just give you a a view of the metro here at the Doha Exhibition Centre you can see very wide open concourses plenty of space for people to get around and not feel crowded and congested and because it is this is so new it is all very clean and fresh and easy to navigate and this is what we like and this is what we want we want everybody to come here to enjoy themselves to feel free safe and you'll have seen in the video fans, women wearing football shirts, men wearing shorts. You know, none of the nonsense that we heard about how all the women are going to have to be in burqas, they're not. The ones that are, they choose to be. But everybody else is free to what they wear, free to wear what they like, so long as it's 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 modest and by modest we're talking about just respectful of local custom and this is important mutual respect and understanding of each other's cultures we're here at a country where 80 percent not 80 82 percent of the population is is migrant so these are very tolerant people these are very welcoming people and it's important that we don't lose sight of the fact that this country hosts people from all over the world. A tiny country where just over 10% of the population is actually Qatari. And in just a few shots of the Doha skyline, the postcard that you see from the distance, we're in the heart of... Heart of Doha city centre and you can see it's roughly 1.30 in the afternoon still lots of building work going on but there is a very relaxed atmosphere plenty of people to show you around plenty of people to guide us to our various points plenty of greenery and it's a nice sea breeze that makes it very very pleasant my phone is showing 24 degrees and that is perfect that is the temperature that we all want and we love and Qatar is providing that so this is the end of the tour of the metro system hope you enjoyed this video do leave your comments and if you've used it 
share your experience. This is my first experience of the Metro since I had a hand in, in the project, part of the project. So it's really good to, good to see the whole thing finished and working smoothly, superbly. There you are, you can see the fans all mingling, all nationalities, people working, media, everybody. This is, this is how it should be. And it's absolutely fantastic to be here. I'm not rubbing it in, but if you are watching this, Somewhere else, away from Doha, you are missing an absolute treat. Because this is what a FIFA competition should be. Everybody welcome, everybody enjoying themselves, everybody feeling safe. No sign of violence, no sign of hooliganism, no vandalism, nothing. Just football fans coming together and enjoying themselves until next time take care see you in the next video